Surf's up, space ponies. I'm around the wheel, and this is not the game we were going to play next originally, but the game that I was going to play next, I can play it just fine on my computer, but I cannot play and record it simultaneously just fine. So, until I can work something out with that game, it's going to get pushed off to the side, and that's too bad because I was really looking forward to it. But we're just going to move to the next one on the list, one that I probably should have played by some point in my life at this point, but have not. This We're going to get low, 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 as it were, with the adventures of low, low. So let's go ahead and get it started. Uh, there are ten floors in this game. This is a pretty short and pretty simple game. Uh, the low, low games, they get harder as you go on, so I've heard this one is pretty easy. Uh, the second one starts to get... A little hairy, and then by the third one, you basically have to know engine glitches. No, we're not going to watch that uh, seizure-inducing intro again. Uh, we're just going to start the game. We're going to go into the first floor. We're going to try to get one floor done per day. There are ten floors, and if I'm given to understand correctly, no final boss fight. Your mission is to save the captured Princess Lala from the Great Devil's Evil Empire. You are the only one who can save Princess Lala. So what have we got here? We got a nice little... Uh, unassuming room with some brick floors and some some tasteful topiary. Let's see, this guy, I can touch him. Okay, yeah, I played a few levels of this game. I actually saw this game on the Nintendo Online on the Switch, and I was surprised with myself that I had never played it, uh, because this seems like the sort of thing that would be right up my alley. So I tinkered with it a little bit, but I was, uh, I was, uh, Happy to find it there. So we've got two little bits of firepower here. We can just kill this guy entirely, or we can be humane. We can just shoot one, and we can turn him into an egg and move him over so that we can access this thing. So there we go. We've got that, and one floor is down. Very good. Hallelujah. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay, these folks are asleep for now. They don't seem to have a problem with me getting up in their face. That doesn't just seem to... That doesn't seem to disrupt their beauty slumber, but let's go around here. Alright. Let's see what's happening here. We may want to go ahead and... Alright. Hmm, huh, I may not have wanted to get that one up there last. I think I have made a mistake. Uh, okay, I have some firepower. Okay, so there we go. Alright. There we go, I have time to get around it. So, there we go. I think it was going to shoot at me if I... If I uh, let it get in my line of sight. So it's a good thing I didn't let that happen. Good thing we were able to egg that thing to death. Okay, this thing over here, what's it do? Okay, it's coming my way. Alright. I have some firepower. Get out of my way, Mr. Slugman. Okay, what happens with you? You just seem to be running around having yourself a grand old time. I think if I remember correctly, this is the one that uh, falls asleep when it touches you. So yeah, we want to stay here. There we go. Not get blocked off. There we go. Pretty simple levels here at the outset. We're doing fine. We're doing fine and dandy. Like so oh, I still have a heart to get. <laughs> I should. Uh, I should be a little more mindful. Now we can get the. Now we can get the pearl in the middle of the chest. The chest magically opens. Now that we've collected all the. Well, they look like hearts, but they have some weird name like emerald something or others. Emerald drivers or something like that. I can't remember. So more enemies that are asleep. I think what we want to do is block them in. Because I'm pretty sure these guys are going to wake up. These skulls are going to wake up when I get all the hearts. I'm going to call them hearts. I'm not going to call them emerald, whatever. No, I think it's the blocks. I think it's these pushy blocks that are emerald something or others. Uh, been a bit since I looked it up. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, succobon our way into here. Did I make a tactical error? No, I didn't. I can get rid of this. There we go. All right. I was pretty sure I had some firepower. There we go. And now the skulls are blocked in. They're not coming for me at all. There we go. Okay. And the door is blocked off, but not for long. There we go. I think we're all ready to the, uh... Oh, yeah, these little rocky dudes. Hey, what are you... What's the big idea here? Oh, boy. Uh, well, if I... Turns out if I get myself stuck, I can go ahead and just push the select button. To uh, undo things. Okay, I need to look around. Alright. Looks like we want to go clockwise here. Would not want to get caught. Would not want to get caught in that pickle. Alright, so... 
Why don't you stay away from me? That sounds like a good idea. No, 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 no. We're getting out of there before we get dead-ended. Rear-ended. Alright, and this is the final pearl. Wow, this is moving pretty quick. Uh, and once we go upstairs, that's going to be the end of the day. Holy moly, this might be a, a quick little series to rip through. Although it could get bad later. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of surprised with myself that I've never explored this at any length. But here we are. We are crossing something off the round the wheel. Definitely needs to play this if he wants to call himself a puzzle guy kind of game. So here we go. We're going to go upstairs. And wow, starting off super simple. But next time we're going to move on to floor two. And we're going to try to tackle one floor per day. Whatever, whatever length of game that creates. That guy looks very threatening, but we're going to go ahead and stare him down, and I'll see you guys next time. Wow, was not expecting this to be so short.